Hey, my name is Jenna. I'm a travel nurse, and recently I traveled across the country to New Orleans, Louisiana with my sister and two dogs. From King's Cake to secret beaches, I am so excited to share this adventure with you. Emma and I decided we wanted a beach day, but Google brought us to the side of the railway by Lake Pontchartrain with no entrance to the beach. That is, until a cute little family of four began walking across the tracks in full swim gear. We decided to follow them. Across the tracks and through a sugarcane forest was Lincoln Beach, a secret beach on Lake Pontchartrain that many locals love. This beach was closed down many years ago, but was once a theme park for African Americans during segregation. The city closed it to the public with plans to build on the land, but locals still come every day as a sign of protest. After our beach day, we decided to drive around downtown New Orleans and the Garden District. Then we decided to take a walk around the famous French Quarter. stop was a voodoo shop. Emma wasn't really a fan of that one, but it's a very interesting cultural mm -hmm. experience. I definitely recommend if you ever go to New Orleans. There was a period of time where I took myself on a lot of solo dates. The first of which was the National World War II Museum. This museum takes the cake when it comes to my favorites. I really liked how it put you into the time period. There were multiple times where I just got absolute chills. I saw the plane exhibit and I was like, I need to go to the top of this. Then you get to the second floor and you think, okay, this is pretty high. Wait until you get to the next floor.
There was a really cool exhibit about a man who collects stained glass window pieces and he worked with a bunch of artists to put them back together into something beautiful. Taking it back to the French Quarter, we are going to stop by the pharmacy, the New Orleans Pharmacy Museum, that is. This museum is awesome. <laughs> it was all about medical practices way back when. This is a soda machine, one of the very first. Did you know that soda machines were just used to make medicine taste better? I certainly didn't. Catheter anybody? Metal catheter anybody? Let me say that looks painful. These are reusable syringes. Hold up. Look at that needle. I do not want to reuse that syringe on somebody. Have a headache? Let's drill a hole in your brain. You gotta love early medicine. You really do. <laughs> they even have a little garden in the back if you want some therapy, which is really nice. Quick snack at the French market. There's lots of local vendors here that are really awesome. Then on to the Presbyter. This is one of the Louisiana State Museums. It has two floors. The first floor is all about Hurricane Katrina. And honestly, it was really hard to see some of the things that were in this museum. They had a section about healthcare workers who worked for a whole week straight. It really just gives you a snidbit of life in New Orleans during Katrina. The second floor of the Presbyter was all about Mardi Gras. These were a few of my favorite costumes that the kings and queens of Mardi Gras wore. I really, really like this one. <laughs> that is all for today. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next week with more adventures.